With the wrong grip and a bad stance, your swing won't stand a chance. This iSport lesson discusses a grip and stance to use as the basis of your swing. First, let's talk about the grip. If you are right-handed, your right hand should be on top. And if you are left-handed, your left hand should be on top. Your bottom hand shouldn't be more than two or three finger widths away from the knob of the bat. When you hold the bat, the knuckles you would use to knock on a door should be lined up. Lining up your knuckles like this will allow you to roll your wrists properly as you swing. Now that you've gotten your grip, let's go over the stance. Set your feet as wide as is comfortable. Bend your knees and get into a strong athletic stance. Your toes, hips, and shoulders should all be facing the plate. Your toes should also be lined up. Keeping your torso fairly upright, take your bat and place it on your back shoulder and relax your elbows. The barrel of your bat should be parallel to the ground. Your arms should take the shape of the letter A. From here, simply raise both arms straight up until your hands are at about ear level. From here, you can lift your bat so it's at more of a 45 degree angle. Do not lift your back elbow up or wrap your bat behind your head. Keep your grip relaxed until the pitch comes. That's your basic stance and grip. Essentially, you want to be calm, balanced, and have a wide enough stance that when you swing, you don't throw yourself off balance. A great way to test your stance is to try a simple jump drill. Get into your stance. Take a hard swing and immediately after your follow through, jump as high as you can with both feet. If your stance is balanced, you will land exactly as you started with a strong stance and your follow through intact. If your swing is unbalanced, you will be unstable as you land and will likely have to get out of your stance immediately to catch yourself from falling. Let's review what we've just learned about the grip and stance for hitting. When getting into your stance, make sure your toes are lined up and your legs are wide enough apart that you are perfectly balanced. Keep your weight balanced on both feet. Line up your knuckles on the bat. And finally, do not raise your back elbow or wrap your bat behind your head.